Bullying is an act of intimidation, uh, coercion, hurting, any way that can harm somebody to uh, cause them pain, directly or indirectly, can be called bullying. So my guest today is Farouk Manga. We're going to be talking about bullying, his own uh, views on bullying. We're going to discuss bullying in schools, which is uh, the main environment where bullying happens, but bullying actually happens on a higher level too. But I believe it starts from school and then it continues. So we're going to talk about how to curb bullying, uh, characteristics of a bully, if there's any, and then uh, what schools can do to stop the horrible act. So Farouk, it's nice to have you. You're on MIW. Uh, for starters, uh, I want you to introduce yourself. You're going to tell us uh, about you. Just a very slight demo. Anything you want to share is fine. So just tell us who is Farouk Manga. Hello, my name is Farouk Manga, and I am somebody who despises bullying. And another reason that bullying happens is because some people started bullying others because they were bullied themselves. Okay, so you think bullying is like uh, it's like a vicious circle is that what you're saying yes. a bully was bullied at some point in their lives yes you think so yes sir. okay well i think that 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 actually is is true for some for some reason uh, i know one out of five children are bullied anyway from the statistics i read at some point and we know that bullying happens on a daily basis some kids uh, bottle it up and are unable to express themselves I believe that uh, bullying is an act that really needs to be addressed. It happens in majority of our schools today. It happens in our homes, it happens in offices. Uh, but we're focusing on schools now because it's Farouk's environment. And perhaps there's an experience that he would like to share about maybe his friend being bullied or his brother or himself or someone that he knows so that we can relate it to a true story and see how we can uh, curb that and advise uh, schools or teachers or parents on how to make bullying stop. Okay, so uh, Farouk, like I was saying initially, I, I don't have an experience with bullying. Uh, I was never bullied on that level, but I do know that there are different types of bullying. I know we have verbal bullying, uh, which is name calling and uh, trying to put somebody down. That happened to me. I know we have physical bullying, that's the one that, okay, I can't relate to the hitting, punching and all that. I can't relate to that. But I know, I also know there's cyber bullying in the modern world, on the internet, online. People bully others into keeping quiet or into logging out or into accepting what they want to say. And of course, emotional bullying, which is the most dangerous form of bullying. Don't you think so? Yes, because some children nowadays, when they're bullied, they actually commit suicide. Yes, they commit suicide, they go into depression, uh, they, they are just unhappy and they are unable to, why do you think these children are unable to tell their parents or their older ones or report to teachers that they are being bullied? I think the reason they do that is because maybe when their parents report to like a senior teacher and they take a drastic measure, I think maybe they're afraid that the students that bully them will bully them more than they usually do. Okay, so you're saying there will be consequences if a child he reports bullying, he's going to be in more trouble. The bullies would cook up something worse and still bully them. Oh, but why do you think people bully? That's what I want to say. Why do you think these bullies bully? But before you answer that, I want to understand something. Um, the way it's shown in cartoons, most of the time, or movies, bullies are a bulky they're big they're 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 scary do you think that really applies in real life sometimes it does but sometimes it doesn't it doesn't so it's not always about size right yes like it can be like let's say you're a new student that transferred from a different school like maybe somebody even like you're in the sixth grade somebody in the fourth grade can like because he has friends he can negotiate with them so that they can bully you Wow. But one thing I want to say about bullying is whenever somebody begins to bully, you should always stand your ground. 
Okay, well, but standing your ground it actually depends on the person, like I said. And bullying sometimes is not just one person that bullies you. It's they have gang. cliques, a gang. Thank you. So when they have a gang and then there, there's a big person, there's a hefty person, there's a, a tall person, there are different sizes of people and it's just you. So there may be a situation where... Uh, you don't. You cannot help yourself. You can't stand your ground and fight five people or six people. So in what do you do world, in that instance? We always have nice people that will be your alliances. So are you saying that uh, people you can find your own gang or your own clique to fight back? Not fight back necessarily, but like just stand your ground. As I said, because say. from standing ground that you're talking about right now means that. It's, it's still going to encourage that bullying because it's like you're accepting it and you're, you're going to fight back or kick back. We're looking at measures to stop it in the first place. So we need to know why people bully. I feel that besides the fact that they were bullied themselves, they they lack something that the they other lack person friendship has. With other friendship or maybe something that that other person has and they are angry or they feel bad about or it. Or maybe they're jealous or something. Thank you. Jealousy is one of one of the reasons. You're a new kid. You're wearing very nice trainers. You, you have, you have geeky Jordan stuff. For, okay. Good. So you have geeky stuff. Or maybe you're even the brainiac in the class. You answer questions. You're smart. Or and maybe your dad is an ambassador or something. Good. So now you see. So we're, we're attaching uh, jealousy to that envy brings about anger, malice, and then that person decides, okay, I don't have what he has, but I'm stronger than he is, or I can hurt him so that I feel good about my own self. So I think it has to do with how one still feels. So anyway, uh, Farouk, do you have any experience with bullying? I'm talking about yourself or someone close to you in your school. I want a real scenario where you experienced or you know somebody who experienced it and shared with you so that we can relate it. I never experienced it. bullying like as a, like not, I okay. haven't. But I've seen someone, I, w I witnessed a bullying scene once. Okay, in your school? No, in my Islamia. Okay, in your Islamia. Yeah. Okay, yes, it happens there too, a lot. A lot, a lot. mostly. So, yeah. uh, what was the scenario like uh, you were just a witness you observed you were observing while it was happening or it had already happened before you reached the scene well i was observing like one someone was just hitting a different person for no reason was it an older person hitting a younger person yes okay and what did the younger person do he Help reported them? and then the his parents told the principal and then the principal it never happened again basically. Okay, so the principal uh, addressed the issue. Okay. Well, that's one of a few incidents where the prince where act some action is being taken. Like because. most teachers they they rarely take action. Yes, some but, teachers don't do that. But what do you think the punishment should be for bullying, for kids who bully? And we've been talking about bullying, you know that Younger people still bully older people, right? Yes, they yes it doesn't like emotionally. happen. Yes, emotionally they do that. They try to put them down. And uh, the name calling thing I was talking about actually happened uh, in primary school. Sometimes there are names that, uh, nicknames that you don't like. Yes. For example, uh, you have a big head. Your but head that is one is <laughs> normal, but like something like. Yes, but I'm saying maybe your head, you know that your head uh, is bigger than someone else's head or you have a big forehead and then people start calling you names using that head maybe a cartoon character that has a big head or, or in a game you understand so they call you that name maybe hammerhead or dr neocortex or something Related like that. To that i once watched a movie a boy was bullied because of his facial his looks yes I think I've watched that movie, Wonder, right? Wonder yes, where he mm -hmm. almost stopped yeah. going to school. It made him feel so bad, and it was actually a condition. But so, then they became friends, and then they fought back other people in the yeah, town. But that was a movie. So what I'm telling you is, do these scenarios turn around? If a bully is actually brought in and talked to and told that this is wrong or that you shouldn't do this, can we resolve those issues? Can we pick out people that can actually stop it for some reason? Because like I told you, there's an uh, there's uh, an attitude thing there, and then there's something they're lacking. Maybe these kids are not getting attention at home, 
and the only way they can have fun or enjoy themselves is to make fun of others, pick on others so that people laugh, so that they feel good about themselves. So, and in some situations, like when you're a small person, you're tiny, and somebody is actually big, uh, they try to look down on you and show you that they can intimidate you with their size. They call you smally or, or little one or incy wincy, stuff like that. And then you keep saying, I don't like it, I don't like it. So I believe that, well, for me, honestly, telling them you don't like it doesn't work. Does honestly, it? I agree. Yes, they, they continue doing it. It's like it's better. When you even tell them you don't want it, that's when they amplify because it. Because you, you actually re reply. Yes, you, you reply. You just leave them alone. Let them continue speaking to themselves. Yeah, but for ignoring doesn't always work at the same time because if you ignore they keep doing it and you keep hurting inside because you know you don't like it but they're saying it they're saying it and if it's in a classroom everybody picks it and they keep calling you that so i really need to know what teachers can do about it or what teachers are doing about it do you think teachers can actually come into the picture and do something some teachers actually still believe students okay that's 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 a huge one i do know that teachers do that but i i i don't i didn't think it was bullying i thought it was just I, I didn't actually see that as i think when when teachers do things like this sometimes they are trying to bring you out of your shell maybe you're a child or a student that does not is not very very outgoing and they feel pushing you a little might make you stand up and become more confident you're good but you're in your shell so you need a little hard hitting so that you can actually stand up and come out so i believe that's where the teachers come in unless you're trying to tell me that there are teachers whose aim or motive is actually to make you feel down or make you feel bad or instill fear in you so that you cannot do some things or report them or so then that is where bullying comes in and i think that is a very very uh, terrible thing for teachers to do and even if it happens schools really really need to look into that because if you let it happen continuously you've already killed the self-esteem of that child that child will not cope in that class because the teacher is there maybe it's a subject teacher so you might even take him another subject in the next class so I believe that's really really a bad one intimidation so how do you think we can besides the standing of your ground what do you think schools can do to curb bullying to reduce the level of bullying and at least take action such that you will not have a lot of bullying going on in schools one of the things is security cameras security cameras okay Connected. like cctvs in every class yes. and outside not only, like on the hallways because that's okay. where most bullying occurs yes okay so uh, in the toilets most okay especially. in the toilets okay so that's one way so they keep an eye on so are you saying every day they have to go through that or do they wait until the incident happens and then they can go back and check yes. if they're um but days? every student you shouldn't be afraid of a bully a bully is just a person that needs a friend okay well that's that's a good way to put it so how do you think is a friendly way to make a bully your friend somebody I that is bullying you can you actually well, I don't think bullies are listeners. Do you think they are? No, some are, honestly. So they will listen? What are you going to say? Please stop hitting me. Please stop bullying me. Or we can talk. Is there anything that is happening to you that you need uh, ad advice or you need attention? Okay, one is that maybe when it's the bully's birthday, you get him a present. <laughs> Happy birthday, bully. You no, just... like, just say, like, let's say, for instance, his name is Henry. You'll be like, Happy birthday, Henry. And give him an actual gift, yes. not a prank. Not a prank. Okay, an actual gift. Okay, well, I think that's a polite and good way of putting it, but the bully might still take the gift and still bully you. So I think that's when you, like, address, talk to the authorities, right? You have to speak to the bully first. Like, one on one, like we're doing? Do you know something? Maybe you should start taking karate lessons or boxing lessons. Oh, self defense. Yes. But like I said, self-defense still encourages the bully. It means you're still going to fight back. I'm not saying self-defense is not good, but we're looking at a way that we can dialogue, like you said, talk to from actions such that it doesn't reach a level where you have to defend yourself. You have to physically defend yourself from that bully. I like what you said about talking to them. I believe some bullies are bullies because they don't even have friends. You said it. So if you can give them that chance to be nice and see how people would accept you 
maybe you don't have to hit them or you don't have to push or pull their hair or say things to them like here i have some m and m's here okay some bullies actually steal your lunch money like for oh, instance yeah, they have true. peanut butter and jelly sandwich but you have a cookie with a drink or something because like a cookie is like tasty yeah tasty but a uh, pb and j is just like so are you saying snack. yes of course so they might actually take it away from you from you okay so well for that i think the motive might be okay the bully is hungry he doesn't have food or he sees something young yes. and he can't ask nicely for it right yes and then or maybe you to... could just split it in half okay well i think that helps okay so do you think girls bully boys yeah Does it happen? in some cases in some cases it still happens right yeah yeah so because maybe i think it's not right for a boy to like hit a girl maybe like they're just going to like just take it in and just leave it yeah but but like i said it a push comes to a shove when something is done once you don't say anything it happens again you don't no, say you anything don't, you don't just maybe leave for her instance if you have a sister in the school and they're in the same class with the girl who bullies you you can speak to your sister to like speak to her friend to stop bullying you okay that's a good one we did not even discuss that we we, we kept talking like you're you're an only child in the school or maybe you're the eldest what if you have an older brother or or a friend of your brothers or somebody that you know in an older class i think if you tell that person it could still stop because it happens in boarding schools a lot right yes. they call it seniority as in somebody can just call it it's training in quotation marks come and take my bucket you're going to do this training. give me to more like bullying yes but i think in those days we used to see it as training for example your senior uh, will not be taking something to his his to the bathroom you are there look at your juniors hey you come here you take this like and take it there. Boy or something. yeah you have to anything he wants to do you do the work for him you go and do this for me pick this press my clothes do this bring that and if you refuse it's going to be like torture so i think um this is a very good one you can talk to somebody in an older class maybe your sister's friend or your brother's friend and say this is what is happening and the issue needs to be addressed i remember at some point there was in school my sister was being bullied there was this boy that was a real bully because he was bullied. Older sister or younger my younger sister? sister um this bully was like the talk of the town everybody was talking about him in their homes so my sister was always complaining that this boy is 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 hitting us. He's he's doing this. He's doing that. We noticed that the day it was going to be addressed, we saw a lot of uh, friends of ours that we knew coming to challenge the bully, talk to the bully regarding their own younger ones. And I was like, "Is he bullying everybody in the class? So it's not just you." She said, "Yes, it's not just me. He's bullying this person and this person and that person." But the truth is, this bully was actually big. He was older than everyone well, in the you class. Were bigger than him. Yes, yes, I was. But you know, uh, it's it's different when the bully comes from a different side of town. We're talking about somebody who is already exposed to being violent. He's already that type of child that bullies a lot. And you are calm, even if you're older. You are calm, and he's used to. He's not used to you just talking to him and then having him listen. But eventually. He was being talked to and it stopped. And my younger brother was also bullied at some point. He even broke his arm from bullying. Because the bully pushed him off the seesaw at some point because he was always talking about the boy. This boy is doing this, but we were never taking him seriously. So there was a day the bully told him, get down. It's my turn to go up. And he said, there's still space. You can still come up. I think there was there were exchange of words. And then the bully pushed him off, fell on his elbow and... He broke his arm. Why did you do that? Uh, well, do do? we let the parents handle that situation. I think he was suspended and he was actually given some counseling and it never happened again. So I don't know if that still happens in schools. What would you suggest? Uh, yeah, it does bullying? actually. It does? Do you have a school counselor? No, because, you know. But you should have a school counselor. Yeah, I actually agree. So, um, a school but counselor. But like you have like a key person in the school. Okay. To like if you're to? a prefect, you have a mentor. Oh, mentor! Oh, that that reminds me. I didn't ask you. I didn't mention. Uh, Farouk is the head boy at his school, and I want to know uh, what that is like, uh, how that feels. 
uh, and also what can the head boy do to bring about a change in this bullying thing head boy means you're like the top student let me say at that level so i believe what you say to the principal matters a lot your your contributions you can suggest things and say things and the little ones look up to you so what do you think as an head boy as a head boy sorry what can you do to bring an end to bullying in your school well first things first you have to report okay second thing if the, the teachers don't take drastic measures report to your parents third thing if nothing happens you should like stand up for yourself stand up for yourself are you saying fight kick back not fight but like very few would have that confidence to do that since it has reached that level um what i want to what i want to add to what you said is do you think reading stories about bullying to see how bullies ended up or uh, having children watch movies or cartoons to see how bullies end up would change things yes it it because would. no bully ends up with well them. yeah that's true so you think if they see that they will just feel that okay i think i don't think this is even worth it because in the end i'm going to lose or it won't happen or he might grow stronger and still beat me up or do this in the future do you think that the movies can actually change the mindset and have somebody adjust because of that hollywood can do anything okay. yeah hollywood can do anything so can hollywood happen to that bully and have him stop because in a movie he watched the bully did not end up well no so bully ends up well no, no bully, bully ends, up, ends well. up well so you can tell that to the bullies if they're going to listen then bullying is not worth it and it's just for a short time you enjoy for a short time you can't hurt somebody and feel good about yourself it's not right what if you are going to are being bullied a bully can still be bullied so what if he is being bullied is he going to like it or is like i mentioned like earlier when somebody is bullying someone he has been bullied before, before. he's being bullied so he's so repeating what happened to him that's yes. just it you see that's like so revenge you won't be alone okay okay but that's still like revenge but not to the right person if so you if person. you bully me and i decide to bully somebody that somebody is nothing to you so how do i gain if he was your younger one i'll say oh good your brother bullied me so i'm going to bully you too to see what it feels like but if that person has no attachment to you then it's like why am i doing this i felt bad when you did it to me so why am i doing it to another person it doesn't make sense at all and this same bully would they feel happy if their younger ones are bullied by others they will go you and have fight to be in somebody's shoes to so, see how it actually feels okay so for most of it bullies need to be bullied to know what it feels like but like you said it's a projection they grow up and practice what happened to them in the past well on the higher level i can actually tell you that bullying happens in offices in, in the workplace yes bullying it happens, actually yeah. happens yeah office. it happens your boss can bully you at some point some of your colleagues can still bully you your supervisor can bully you and this bullying like i said it comes in different uh, categories i'm not saying they'll hit you yeah emotionally they can, they can bully you you have an opinion and you, you you say the thing maybe at a meeting or you bring it as a contribution to your company the others may not feel happy about that contribution you mentioned jealousy which is a good point they have to put you down okay we're not going with this guy's point what do we do well let's make him feel it sucks let's just show him it's not it's not good enough so we're not going with it so they just tell you point blank uh, we're sorry we're not taking this or i don't think what you said there is, is going to work it's, you have it's to witness yeah. you have to witness it to make sure it's true i don't blame you for not believing the person maybe he has a history of lying yes that's true that's true but i feel that for bullying to stop at some point it will be nice to you said that having school counselors is a very important thing talk to students like it's, even if it's on a monthly basis there should be a, a duration where you to talk to students how are you is there anything happening that you that i need to know is that are you feeling happy is there something uncomfortable about school that makes you uncomfortable open up tell me nothing's going to happen from there you can start getting stories about people maybe feeling bad or maybe a child is not doing well and you just decide wow i think the counselor needs to needs to bring this child in what's a, happening a teacher one time on the assembly ground a teacher 
like actually he praised a student for his amazing work okay and then he mentioned that some students used to bully him at first because the student that was bullied and was praised is an albino oh no so he was bullied because of his skin the way his skin is Did yes, it have anything so, to do with this condition so when the principal heard this she went straight to the class after the assembly and spoke to the teachers that bully bullying is unacceptable in that school Good. did it stop yes it did okay so we're going to demonstrate uh, a bullying scene uh, this is the uh, weaker person that is the bully so as you can see this guy is small and tiny and thin and that guy is huge and bulky and scary so <laughs> So like describing a bully, a bully is somebody who is larger than you and bigger and stronger. Yeah, just like he hit me down, fell down to the ground. Well, that's it. We spoke about bullying. Bullying is a very horrible act and I really hope that this campaign goes far. We need to stop bullying in schools. We need principals and teachers, parents to come together and stop bullying. Speak out, voice it out, talk to your children and make sure they're not being bullied in school. Thank you so much for watching MIW. Farouk, you have anything to say? Please make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment and make sure to su subscribe for more amazing videos like this. Thank, Thank you. you very much for being on MIW. Have a nice day.